How's it going everyone? Liam Caddison here as we are reacting to episode number four for Angel, which is titled I Fall to Pieces. Um, yeah, excited to get into this episode because um, these last three episodes I feel have settled me comfortably into this show. This has been a show that I've been looking forward to checking out for quite some time and with these three episodes I kind of have, uh, kind of have a general vibe to the tone of this show, the new characters that we've been introduced to, as well as uh, how things are going to proceed story-wise, at least for this first season. Um, and yeah, last episode was my favourite of the three so far, which really isn't saying much because I'm sure in future Angel episodes there's going to be more grander, more eye-catching episodes that are completely are going to blow my mind so but uh it's it's a good start because like i said this has been a show that i have been very very intrigued by since uh, i guess i started watching buffy and um i'm really excited to see what the future has in store so with that said let's get into episode number four for angel season one this is titled i fall to pieces let's go it's an attractive way is this a private moment because i could leave you alone no, I'm not saying I'm attracted. I'm just saying that, you know, he projects a certain kind of sure. image and asking for money isn't part of it. He's sensitive about that. Yeah. I mean, I would okay, feel the Kevin, same okay. way, to be fair. We're going to stand up to him. Yeah, we're standing up. Do you think it's right to ask people in trouble for money? No. So we agree. No. We See, don't that agree. went down well. Make up your mind, will you? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You just had a coaching. That's so Doyle. <laughs> Pen. Paper. See, there's the cloak that he mentioned. Maybe I'm a little attractive. See, there's nothing wrong with that. Your heart. Look, I'm not explaining this very well. No, but thanks. If you need anything, just call that number. Please. I scared her. Sounds to me like she was scared Please? to begin with. Am I intimidating? I mean, do I put people off? Well, as vampires go... I think she was just heavy. being cautious, to be fair, like... Maybe you might... But as long as you're just a man who's doing a job and getting paid, they can feel like they've paid their debt to you, and they can move on. Independent, like. You're a lot smarter than you look. <laughs> of course, you look like a retard. <laughs> Jesus, Cordy, come on! Wow! ...described a calcium selenium supplement. Did you take it? No, you threw it in the drawer the minute you got home. These things are for this your own What the fuck? Just leave me alone. How can two people in love leave each other alone? In love? I think you've got a skewed love. definition of love, we buddy. We had one date. Honey, I have to run. Oh, don't forget your money, sweetheart. My Liam senses, they are not sitting well. I don't think I can take much more of this. Well, we're gonna help you. Big time. He's booked your place, surely. Oh, God. Doyle will make sure you get home safely. Thanks, you guys have been really kind listening to me, and it's terrible. Yeah. Do you feel so bad for her? No, I am. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I've just watched a Doctor Who episode with fingers with that detach itself. I don't need this. Don't you worry. When Angel's finished with this case, I guarantee you'll be wanting to jump off a bridge again. Not in that. Your girl did file a report to Worded you know. a bit better. The doctor responded and Oof. denied everything. A lot of noise from his lawyers. Ugh. What? His lawyers. Wolfram and Hart, you know the name? I've heard it. Oh, yeah, they're, they're from the episode one. Johnny Cochran is too ethical to join. And I've put a few of these creeps away, and the hardest thing is knowing that he's still winning. She's still afraid. He took this girl's power away, and nobody can get it back from her but her. Especially if he's a demon, then she couldn't mean that literally, so... I have time for appointments. I'm told you can do things nobody else can. 
Well, you'll never find out. I'm calling security. My wife has a malignant tumor pressing on her ocular cavity. She's gonna die unless someone has the nerve to operate. <laughs> nerve. <laughs> what you're talking about is a very different... Then you understand I'm not willing to make any compromises. I'm not willing to watch her suffer and die while the law catches up with science. <laughs> what I am willing to do is pay you whatever it takes. Angel! Think about it. Please. I just love that. He's like really good at turning a situation where he gets caught into an advantage for him. I like the way he treats women. I'll keep your name out of it, but just between us, what is the real dish on this guy? Let's go Cordy. He's not very generous. He doesn't share his techniques with the medical community at large. And a lot of what he claims to have done is pretty radical. Oh boy. Like nice and easy. Put your hands up. I was just out for a walk. Hands now. He's gonna have no hands, is he? Oh my God. Why? Why? Why is he going all Adam's family? <laughs> what's wrong? Did someone break in? He's... Lady, I can't help you. You don't tell me what's wrong. Not She's in panic, in. officer! In there. Jesus Christ! It's alright, it's alright. Oh, right. I'm not gonna let him near you. Shh, it's alright. Shh, shh, shh. I wanna kick him in the face. Oh, no, no. Got a point on him, but this guy can't be contained and can't be killed. What are we gonna do? His body parts go long enough without any blood and oxygen. They're gonna deteriorate. He's not gonna be able to put himself back together, no matter how much psychic surgery he knows. Exactly. So, so we need to isolate them. them. Of course, it's just a theory. Mm. An angel theory. In the meantime, <sighs> protect her. I hope not. I'm tired of crying and being afraid. You don't have to be afraid. You just duct taking me in for fun? You survived a living hell these last few months, and you're still standing while he's coming unhinged at not being able to control you. He's the weak one. You're the strong one. Angel. You should listen to Melissa. He knows what he's talking about. He has stocked plenty of books on the subject. <laughs> what is ever, Cordy? We again? Johnson International Holdings? Jensen. Jensen. Good. Got it. Jensen. Now, does that sound like an international... Cordelia. <laughs> I just love how she Jensen just prologues everything. Hi, my director, Carl. Please hold. It's him, isn't it? It's him. Yeah. I just can't get over the audacity. To think that you could take her from me? <gasps> I saw you. I saw you holding her. Nobody can break the bond between us. Nobody. Dude, you're a creep. There is no such thing as love between you and Melissa. She can't accept that. I've tried so hard to show her in so many ways. I've taken care of her. You're obsessed. Been there for her, even when she didn't know it. Well, she hooks up with the doctor. That should be a good thing. You should be able to call home and say, Mom, guess what? I met a doctor. Not yes, but what? sadly, like some people doctor. just oh, take it too nice. far. Ex oh, shh. <sighs> Can we not just break the fingers as well? Like... Always say it's the wind, and that's oh my god. So you want to play some cards, or do you want to watch the two? Sure. How about some gin? Penny a point? Yeah, you loan me money. I can yeah, we'll see, see you. you. It's gonna grab his face, isn't it? Don't, don't look, Doyle, don't. That's even worse. Little pieces of whatever 
you are. Shut up. You turned yourself into a freak, Ronald. A vile, repulsive freak, and I am done being afraid of you. You can cut me. Melissa. You can kill me. It still won't change what you are. Angel's oh. right. I'm weak. Go on, Melissa. I I killed him. Inefficiently. You can't <laughs> you're not human. You Correct. We could have been so happy. Ronald! Oh, dearie me. Ooh! Oh! You know what they always say? Don't go losing your head. Clearly, he lost his a long time ago. Ah, huh, that didn't go so badly. See, you can save the damsel and make decent money. Is this a great country or what? Hey, let's march down to the bank right now and deposit this beauty. <sighs> you guys go on. I think I'll stay here and not burst in. At least we're getting some success, though. That's, um... That is... The, um... That is the um, main point of this, like the uh, like the investigation place. It's it's getting some rep uh, good reputation. It's 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 getting where um where it should be because that's the thing for Angel. Like whilst whilst this does bring about the financial support which can improve the place. I can just imagine like angel investigations or whatever. It's just going to like start from the bottom and now we're at the top. So yeah. But um for Angel this is about helping people and the more successful um his place is to to clients out there, the more reputation that's going to come. The more he's going to be able to help people out. And not just that though, but to be able to find himself in a position to forgive himself so yeah um i really really like that but it was yeah um it was an episode and a half um <coughs> it was um it wasn't the greatest thing out there it was a bit slow but um it was very very creepy as well so yeah um it was uh, a really really um not bad inclusion, I, I'll say. Of It wasn't terrible by any means. It, it just wasn't as stellar as, like, episode 3 was. Um, but it did um, do something... So it, it, it did carry some similarities with Buffy in, in being able to tell... Um, tackle real-life scenarios, real-life predicaments, and... Um, do them in a very very creepy manner with 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 that guy being able to detach parts of himself and ugh. like i just watched um a doctor who episode where we have this guy that can detach his fingers and that was freaky can buffy like so buffy can we please make a deal like no monsters in the episode that i'm about to watch later today that have detachable limbs or anything like that because if i see one more if i see one more like adversary this week that can detach fingers or whatever then i'm just going to i'm just going to call it quits and reacting <laughs> no but in all seriousness um yeah i thought that was good not the greatest thing out there but it was enough for me to um to appreciate um this episode so yeah so as i said not really the greatest episode i think it's probably the weakest episode for me um not to say that there like this episode was bad i thought it was good it just wasn't as good as other episodes uh just there's a few more um i guess negatives uh than there are positives than like I would usually call out like I don't think they needed to like um add more because what I saw with the detachments uh especially with the eyes and 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 the teeth which I thought was a bit cheesy for my for for, for me even though it was still horrific it uh, like it, it still kind of feels to, uh, a bit cheesy I think if anything they should have limited uh limited the detachments to the hands um and because Ronald what one Ronald was doing on a human aspect with him just stalking Melissa and um um 
making her feel vulnerable and and feeling like her safety was destroyed i think that was creepy enough because it is like people do this and like in the real world and it's a very very terrifying and and creepy uh, aspect so i feel like the detachments were a add-on if you get what i mean but i do feel like um ronald's involvement does push the um what is it called wolfman and hart i think the um the the law firm uh who represented that vampire in episode one so i think it gives a bit more of an insight into protecting um into them protecting demons because i'm pretty sure they had a hunch that he was a vampire but were okay with it and uh this guy is demonic himself so yeah um but also there's like parallels as well like you have this demon who is obsessed with with this girl um like angelus like you had angelus who was obsessed with buffy and they were very very horrific and monstrous in their own way and they also destroyed the safety of the female uh they 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 impacted the safety of buffy and they uh, and and ronald impacted um impacted melissa's safety so uh, i think they are there is some parallels like there's some nice little subtle parallels there but like i said i think the uh like they went a bit overboard for me but that's just me i mean it's at the end of the day that's that's how i feel so if if you guys were okay with the eye detachment things and all that jazz and that's that's completely fine but um yeah, there was some really, really good moments in this, especially Melissa standing up to, to, um, to Ronald, and I really loved it. Like it was like Ronald falling up to pieces was a great metaphor to Melissa standing up because he was so obsessed and uh, he didn't care if she felt, um, if she felt like her safety was was compromised. Like he acknowledged this, but as 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 long as he has power, that's all he cares about. And at that moment, he realizes he no longer has power over Melissa. Melissa standing up against him was very, very great, especially Angel inspiring her as well earlier in the episode. thought that was great. But Melissa, when she stood up to Ronald, I thought that was really, really good. And how he was falling apart was just a great metaphor because now that power has dwindled. Melissa is finally um, standing up um, to him. And taking that power away from him. So I thought that was really, really great stuff. Um, I really loved the uh, Doyle and, and Cordy inclusions, especially Cordy with her journalism uh, thing, uh, finding more about Ronald. I thought that was really, really good. And Doyle protecting Melissa during the daytime. I thought that was good for uh, giving them something to do, as well as Angel as well, when he got caught in, the, in Ronald's office. Um, and just how smooth he played the role, like, you, you, you'd think, oh, God, this is not going to go down well, is it? Like, with Angel getting caught, but he played it off very, very smooth. Even let out a little funny now and again with uh, the nerve pun as well, but he played it very, very smooth. And he instilled this, um, this presence that I know what you're doing, whilst also using a fabricated story um, by saying you care for you you care for melissa maybe a little too much don't you um which is okay for love but this isn't love at the end of the day and that's what he was getting at that's what i'm talking about he is trying to fabricate his story about his his partner um suffering and um he's he's getting a reading on on ronald so i really really loved that um i also loved the ethical talk about people uh about about people coming to angel investigations and if they should pay or not and i love the idea that angel doesn't really care about the money that he does have this kind of anxiety about uh asking for payment uh and he needed that little bit of a push at, uh, towards the end with, with cordy coughing dramatically um but i really like that because it really does show a lot of heart in angel's character with with um like he wants to do this for 
the right reasons. He's not doing this for financial reason. He is doing this because it's the right thing to do at the end of the day. So I really loved uh, that little bit of topic. And uh, we did get some payment at the end of the day. And uh, that's really, really good. Like I said, I think this does like help Angel Investigations out a little bit. Whilst this was a filler episode, it does like touch up. Uh, it does push a few things out there. Like it does go into a bit of Angelus's past um, with especially the parallels to Ronald and, and Angel in Buffy season two. Um, and I think Angel said something along the lines, like, I know how this guy thinks because he was there. He, he literally did this in season two. So um, yeah, but like I said, I think this was, it was good. There was a few cheesy elements throughout this episode and i think the writers are still getting used to this idea like this new cloth from um from the buffy verse because uh like like i said at the beginning you know you can notice the tones and everything is a bit different and um i think that's what what is what is currently going on like um like they are finding their footing and there's going to be a few iffy episodes but they're still good like like with season one of Buffy not every uh episode of uh Buffy like there weren't I felt like there wasn't really a bad episode of Buffy in season one maybe one or two with season two but uh we don't talk about bad eggs what about talking about bad eggs was the greatest Buffy episode ever um but like I said, um, season one, there was a few episodes that were not as good as others, but they were still very, very good. And I think that's the case with this episode. So not the greatest episode, but it was there was a lot of good moments in this, especially uh, for the actress who played Melissa. Like I thought she conveyed that heartache uh, very, very well. And um, like I said, the way they were going with the whole stalking thing, because... Like, whilst I don't mind the supernatural element to it, um, just a few things did feel a bit off. And it kind of does make sense as well, because, um, like, to have it in a supernatural element, because when you go the way that Ronald did, you lose your humanity, especially with the fact that he didn't accept the consequences. Like, his actions did create hysteria, but this was this was her fault at the end of the day to 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 his mindset, and that's a very very dangerous and ugly um, that's a dangerous and ugly way to move forward by not accepting that consequence. You're causing this chaos. You you have this power, but yet you cannot accept your own consequences. Um, you are never in the wrong. So um, yeah, I thought th that what they were doing for Ronald and, and showcasing how dangerous stalking um, can be was, was, was great. Just that some of the elements was a bit too much. I felt so. Yeah. Um, but that was angel episode number four of this season. And uh, yeah, exciting to see what happens next time. But until then, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!